Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Daly. I had an ablation to treat atrial fibrillation in early 2021. An ablation is a procedure that uses heat or cold energy to create tiny scars in your heart to block abnormal electrical signals and hopefully restore a normal heartbeat. The first thing you need to know is that I did not want to have an ablation. I spent a year doing everything I could to control my AFib by changing my lifestyle and by taking medications. But despite all my efforts, my AFib continued to get worse and my doctor said it was time for an ablation. I was really nervous to have the procedure, but AFib had affected my life in so many negative ways that I was desperate to find something that worked and I was actually a little bit hopeful that an ablation would cure my AFib. The second thing you need to know is that the ablation experience is different for everyone. I've talked to some people who the ablation knocked them on their butts and they said they would never do it again. And this is despite the ablation improving their AFib. But my doctor told me the majority of people who have an ablation, it's a pretty easy experience for them and often improves their AFib. And that was my experience. In fact, the procedure was much easier on me than expected. I arrived at the hospital at 6 a.m. and was home by 2 p.m. the same day. After spending a year and a half fighting AFib by changing all parts of my life, I spent eight short hours in a hospital and my AFib was drastically improved. All right, because I don't wanna bore you with a really long video here, I'm gonna give you some really quick details about my ablation. At 6 a.m., I arrived at the hospital. I got an IV and changed into a hospital gown. I met with the nurses, my anesthesiologist, and my electrophysiologist. At 7 a.m., I told my wife goodbye and went to the cath lab. The catheter lab was larger than I expected. It was full of medical equipment and monitors. It was also much colder than I expected. I was freezing in there. This could have been because I was only wearing a hospital gown, but I do remember thinking how cold it was and I do remember shivering. Not long after I was in the cath lab, the nurses started putting sensors on my body, sticking them to my skin. Then my electrophysiologist came to me and I did remember I had one question that I really wanted to ask him. It was that I was worried that my heart was in rhythm. Of all days for my heart to be in rhythm, it was on ablation day. In the days prior, my heart had been going crazy and was completely in AFib. And now on the day of my surgery, when I'm super nervous, I'm having perfect sinus rhythm, which was crazy. So I asked my doctor, I was super worried if it would make any difference for the procedure. And he assured me that for the procedure I was having, it made no difference, which made me feel much better. After the nurses finished putting monitors on my body, I was asked to lay down and I was covered in warm blankets, which felt great because I was freezing. Not long after that, the anesthesiologist asked me to breathe into a mask and I started becoming sleepy. Next thing I remember, I was waking up in the recovery room. I don't remember being in this recovery room too long, but I was still kind of coming out of anesthesia. Um, but not long after that, I remember being wheeled back into the room where my wife was waiting. And this was where I would spend the next three hours laying flat on my back. You can see in this picture, the incision on my neck covered in a bandage here, where they inserted the catheters into my neck. So after arriving back in the recovery room with my wife, I spent the next three to four hours recovering and being monitored by the nurses. I also spoke with the electrophysiologist who assured me that the procedure had gone well, so that was great to hear. Then around 2 p.m. I was able to get dressed and was released to go home. A lot of people have asked me if the ablation hurt. So the next thing you must know is that there was very little pain throughout the entire ablation process. Sure, getting an IV stings when you get it and it's a little uncomfortable having it in your arm. After the procedure, my throat was definitely sore when I swallowed. I later learned this was from the anesthesia. The incision sites where they had put the catheters were tender and pulling the bandages off them was definitely not fun. I had some very minor heart pain, but I think I only felt it maybe once or twice in the days after the ablation. But the most painful part for me was lower back pain, which I'd never had any back pain before. And this was very temporary. It was after the procedure when I was required to lay flat for three or four hours. Plus I'd been laying flat during the ablation for those several hours. A nurse would come in, check on me every few minutes, seemed like maybe every 30 minutes to make sure my incision sites were not bleeding. As soon as I was able to get up, the back pain subsided. The next thing you must know is that having an ablation, at least in the United States, is very expensive. As you can see here, my hospital bill was over $317,000, which is unbelievable. I'm very fortunate to have health insurance. The next thing you must know was that physically I recovered really quickly, but mentally it took me a while to finally believe that my heart was not going back into AFib. 
For the first week after my ablation, I wasn't allowed to lift anything heavier than a gallon of milk, which did not make my three-year-old son happy, not be able to pick him up. I felt a little more tired than usual, but overall I felt really well. I started taking daily walks, and in the months after my ablation, I started slowly ramping up my exercise again. When I met with my electrophysiologist, he put no limitations on the exercises that I was able to do. Physically, I was doing really well, but mentally, I was worried that AFib would return. I was constantly taking my pulse and monitoring my chest for any sign or sensation that AFib had returned. I'm doing much better now and sometimes go several days in a row without thinking about my heart. The last thing you must know is that the ablation worked and it was truly life-changing for me. AFib symptoms and the medications I was taking were truly taking a toll on me. I was much less active and had much more anxiety than I'd ever experienced in my life. The ablation procedure changed all that. It's been about 11 months since my ablation and my heart has been in rhythm ever since. If you have any questions about my ablation experience, please feel free to put them in the comments below or shoot me an email. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.